السلام عليكم ورحمة الله. This uh, video will focus on how we can uh, make or do the uh, stress analysis simulation for the compression test. So I will open uh, a new assembly. As we know, we have to uh, open new assembly and select metric or English units. It depends on uh, parts we have. Assume that uh, it's metric units. I will go to standard assembly in millimeter, create new assembly. Of course, we have the parts. I have the parts. So I will make assembly and show you how we can demonstrate or do simulation, compression test simulation, and get the result using the tool we have in Inventor. So at the beginning, I will place uh, the part so we have this part. I want to test this specimen or this part under compression. Uh, first of all, uh, be sure that this part is not grounded. Next, I will place uh, the machine plate, lower plate. And this plate should be fixed, compressor plate. And we need the, other, the upper one where we apply the load. Uh, for the lower plate, it should be, uh, as you know, in uh, uh, compression or tensile testing machine, the, the lower plate mainly fixed, like instrument machine. Uh, so we have to uh, say that right click on this uh, plate and say grounded. Now it can't move X, Y, Z or rotate. Then I have to meet this plate with the uh, uh, lower uh, plate, the, the specimen or the part with the lower plate. So I will go to here, as you see here, we have uh, the hollow uh, cylinder number one, compressor plate number one, and compressor plate number two. I will expand the compressor plate number one. As you see here, we have the part, the origin of the part, so we have the Z axis. What I will do, I will constrain. From constraint here, uh, I will choose the mating constraint so that I will make the uh, X the axis of this uh, cylinder to the Z axis of the uh, lower plate uh, apply cancel now as you see uh, the plate can move up down so that we have to prepare the view by uh, free rotate the cylinder like this so we can see the uh, lower surface of the plate now I will go to constrain from constrain guys what I will do I, I will uh, constrain so that mating this surface with this surface so that it can be uh, mated correctly uh, zoom in and select this surface and select this surface apply then cancel as you see so the plate can't move left right up down next step guys the last plate or second plate where we apply the load and actually this plate it is a part of the machine uh, which should move up and down uh, so I will make same thing I will constrain the z-axis of this plate with the uh, axis of this cylinder so I will uh, go to uh, compressor plate number two expand it like this origin and then constrain I will constrain uh, the z-axis of this plate with the uh, axis of this cylinder apply cancel as you see now the plate it can move up down and rotate so the same story same idea I will use free rotate again from free rotate uh, I will make the view like this then I will constrain so that this surface should meet with this surface apply cancel but still uh, it can't move up down but the plate rotate around its axis and this should not be uh, like this so what I will do I will go to constrain from constraint, uh, I will select uh, to make this surface, this surface parallel to this surface, parallel to this surface using flush. So uh, I will choose flush so that this surface uh, parallel to this surface apply cancel. Now as you see, the plate can't move, can't rotate, and this is exactly the, the situation. Next step, we will save the uh, assembly. We will save the assembly uh, using new name. 
and uh, yes to all then press ok I'm waiting inventor to save the assembly next step we have to go to environment from environment we should select the stress analysis tool as you see uh, now we are inside the stress analysis tool or user interface as you see here we have the finish analysis and here we have a create study and as you see here we have the assembly uh, file that we uh, did before now I will create a study first of all you can change the name of the study uh, design objective and so many uh, uh, options you can revise them and select which one of them or keep the default I will keep the default then press OK now we are inside the stress analysis user interface or file so as you see here we have the files actually to do the stress analysis in general the first step we have to verify that we have material correct material then we have to add constraints and then we have to add the loads and later also we have to maybe we can uh, if you wish you can show the mesh and update the mesh settings and finally do the simulation and it could be also could be also use the animation the animation tool here to animate the stress response i will start by uh, uh, go to material right click assign material as you see we have part number one number two number three the uh, material it's already assigned if you want them or keep them keep them if you want to override them you can change new material then press ok second step as you know uh, in the tensile machine or instrument machine or any kind of uh, stress uh, analysis machine uh, we have to keep this surface or this plate fixed uh, I'm, I'm, I'm saying that we have to add a constraint fixed constraint so I will use the orbit so the fixed constraint should be on the lower side of the plate apply cancel as you see go to uh, the left browser here uh, go to uh, uh, constraint expand it we have the fixed constraint fixed constraint number one no need for other constraints just this one and finally we can add the compression load it could be a force or a pressure or uh, any kind of, of, of uh, force you want but mainly I will use the force I will add the force as example I will uh, apply 100 uh, kN so uh, 100 1 2 3 Newton uh, it will be on this face at the middle exactly then apply then cancel as you see go to the left browser here we have the load force number one anytime you can edit the force or delete it anytime you can edit the uh, fixed constraint or delete it like the material now next step we have we have uh, let me let me uh, uh, do simulation and then co come back to mesh uh, view uh, when you do simulation it uh, we got here we got uh, uh, say that we got uh, warning it says that one or more bodies uh, which are thin being treated as solid uh, this one hollow cylinder which is which is thin uh, product or thin part but exactly this is what we want we want the inventor to deal with it as a solid so it's okay this warning uh, nothing run the, the simulation and wait for the inventor to get the results it takes sometimes seconds sometimes minutes it depends on parts you have and loads and constraints now as you see we got the uh, result let me go to mesh view as you see here mesh view I will show the mesh as you, as you know uh, the concept of stress analysis here that segmenting the part into small very small micro parts or very small parts called mesh so the shape of the mesh and the mesh properties uh, play a very important role when you do the simulation but the, our target here is just to show you how we can use inventor so i will go to uh, mesh settings as you see here mesh settings average element size it is by default point one to get more accurate result I think we can use 0.05 and minimum uh, element size we can use 0.1 uh, 
keep the grading factor 1.5 you can increase it decrease it, it depends on the software you have and the parts you have minimum turn angle say that we can use 20 to get more accurate results and keep the others uh, as they then press ok now you can uh, uh, simulate again or do the uh, animation let me simulate again and uh, see what will be the result because here we uh, decreases the element size and uh, the minimum size uh, it will take longer time than before but surely it give you more accurate results than before as I told you it may be take seconds or minutes it depends on, on the part you have it depends on the constraints, loads uh, it depends also on the uh, material it depends also on the uh, the mesh settings finite element mesh settings how, how many elements, uh, element size and so on but surely when you increase number of elements or decrease the element size it will give you more accurate results like you see here now you can, if you wish, you can uh, now uh, hide the mesh view and we can use the animate if we go to animate here uh, the step 10 keep it normal like this then uh, by the way you can play the simulation and record it it's up to you so I will play as you see uh, let me show you from the side view this is the exact response uh, under the uh, compression load using the compression uh, testing ma machine like Instron and other universal testing machines and as you see what what the colors we got here let me uh, press ok to finish the uh, animation uh, by the way before talking about the colors by the way we can use prop uh, this prop uh, we can put a prop here it's like a sensor that can sense how much the stress here and how much the stress here and how much the stress here or or there now let me talk about the colors uh, this red color it means the maximum uh, stress region and this blue it is the minimum stress region so we should focus on this region uh, exactly uh, because the failure will start in this region where is uh, this region in our uh, simulation here it is uh, here so nearly here and here now uh, next step uh, as you see here we have von mess stress we got uh, uh, von mess stress results if you want to change to first principle or second or th sorry third you can show displacement safety factor anything so let me go to uh, uh, say that uh, select the first principal stress double click to show uh, to show it but before that uh, skip skip the uh, probe double click on the first principal stress as you see this is the first principal this is the third one and this is the displacement also double click to show the displacement and that's uh, it, it makes sense because this part will move uh, the maximum displacement or maximum movement let me go back to von Mess stress again last thing I have to talk about guys the connection between this part and this part I will go back to the constraint mod material load uh, below the load here we have contacts as you see contacts bonded that we have two bond the bond between uh, uh, the, uh, the upper the upper plate and the cylinder and the lower plate and the cylinder so we have two bonds here uh, actually uh, this bond uh, uh, these uh, bonds created by inventor uh, by converting converting the constraints we did in assembly to these uh, bonds in, inside the uh, uh, stress analysis we can update it because in general in, in compression test actually we put material here to prevent sliding to prevent sliding 
and to separate this plate from the cylinder or the part we are testing. So I will go to edit contact. You can keep it by default bonded or you can say uh, separate them, no sliding. Separate them, no sliding. Uh, or uh, separate them, but sliding. Separate, no sliding. We have sliding, no separation, separation. We have different options here. I will select separation, no sliding. Okay, I will go to the second one. Uh, same, same uh, edit. I will select uh, separate, no sliding. Okay, now I will do the simulation again, but let me uh, to decrease the time. Let me go back and uh, keep it by default 0.1. And this is point, point 0.2 like this. Apply. Now simulate again. Run the simulation. I'm waiting inventor to finish the simulation. See, model separates into three independent components, and this is exactly the situation we have. Close the simulation. I see uh, this is exactly uh, or some some uh, compression test simulation. Uh, the last step, the last step, uh, actually you can uh, generate report. This report contain, containing information, it, it, uh, it could be complete information about this, very long or custom. I will use the custom. Uh, you have to uh, choose the title, author name, logo and uh, the file name, file location. Uh, I will say uh, we have properties here, you can control properties, studies, format, everything. Uh, format you can uh, use the uh, HTML or the other format. I'll keep it HTML. I will go back and say, okay, I'm waiting the inventor to get the results or get the, uh, the report. It should show the report as uh, HTML or web page. As you see here, we got the uh, informations. Uh, see, mass, uh, we have the area, we have the volume, center of gravity. Uh, also here we have, as you see, uh, mesh properties or settings. Uh, and also uh, we have uh, the very important mechanical properties for aluminum like uh, mass, density we have yield stress ultimate tensile strength we have young's modulus poisson's ratio and shear modulus okay and finally we have the uh, here as you see here the force we we added for the simulation and here we have a uh, type of fix it is here and finally the uh, say that uh, the, the minimum maximum stresses I see one misses stresses first principle third principle displacement safety factor and as you see here we have the uh, simulation results uh, I'll see this simulation for one miss stresses first principle third principle and this is displacement and this is safety factor uh, I think we finished the uh, just introduction about stress analysis uh, to simulate the compression test. Thank you so much. See you in next video.